Okay, this is the master bathroom, and you'll notice that middle cabinet. It takes up the depth of the 8-inch wall that we built in between the two rooms, so it's a nice, deep, full-height cabinet, tremendous amount of room. Notice the long, recessed niche at the shower. Cool feature, and the grab bar, how it doesn't look like a grab bar. It looks very attractive. Then you'll notice here the vanity is made from the same material as the wall cabinet. Drawers left and right of the sink, very unusual. It's a custom-made cabinet which necessitated the custom making of the sink to fit those around those two uh, pull-out drawers. Uh, quite nice. Now we move to the guest bath, and you'll notice in the guest bath you have a large window that we put in to access the bay view. A freestanding vanity, which I really like. And uh, notice the tall splash. That was the designer came up with that with the plugs uh, set symmetry to the tall splash and tile. Love that look. And as we pan out now to the, to the full length, look at the lights. Those are really cool lights. This is why you hire interior designers, because they come up with those types of, of cool lights that just perfectly fit the uh, the room. Now, take a look at the kitchen. I, th I think I've shown this kitchen before, but I thought I would include it since I have nice photos of it. Custom-made middle island. You know, lights in the ceiling. You notice plenty of light. Uh, there's Sonos sound system that's hidden up there. That's tremendous sound in this room, bouncing off those windows that access the view of the, of the bay again. And then you have, uh, of course, my favorite Wolf Range uh, top. What I like about this particular Wolf top is it has the griddle in the middle. I like doing pancakes and eggs. I like a flat iron grill. It's uh, quite, uh, quite convenient for a kitchen. So there's a, a kitchen and two baths in Tiburon.